Hi, my friends. Let me share something with you. The way to opening the doorway to getting rich is to break your addiction to a paycheck. The truly rich people of the world measures their wealth in terms of their time, not their money like you might have thought. And there is a relationship between time and money, and not all money is created equal. So, breaking an addiction to a paycheck. Stay with me for a moment because this is hard to digest the way that we've been conditioned our whole lives. Because you're pay you need the regular income, otherwise, gosh, how can you pay your bills, nourish your family, create stability, keep the lights on, all those kinds of things. So you have to have some kind of money coming in, but not all money is created equal. Let me explain what I mean by that. I want to help you digest this because this is so pivotal at creating more freedom and unleashing the power of your human spirit and having more options and even providing more security and stability from your family than you ever could with the type of money, job of money, that you're probably making right now. So here's what it is. You get into this habit of instead of trading your time for money, you get into this habit of creating value of some kind, putting that out there into a marketplace or for somebody or who knows what without expecting anything in return, just because you intrinsically love helping people, some kind of value. And in the end, it all comes back to you. I'm not going to explain how that works in this video, but just get the concept for now. Because think about it, when you're at a job, your employer is legally bound by law to pay you for that time you put in. Value has no part of the equation, so a job is a socialist idea. That's right. I'm not saying it's good or bad or right or wrong or any of those things. I'm just saying having a job and expecting a paycheck for time you put in is a 100% socialist idea. It's not a value idea. Value doesn't even enter the, into the equation. Now, if you're not providing any value, then down the road you might be fired. I don't know. But for time you've already put in, regardless of the value, you could have made a decision that costed your employer lots and lots of money. It doesn't matter. You're going to get paid for that time you already put in, regardless, because they're legally obligated to pay you. That's just the way. That's socialist. Now, if you're really a value-driven person, which I think all of you are going to say you're a value-driven person, how you make your money does not line up with your values. Now, if you're a socialist-driven person, then how you make your money at a job does line up with your values. Again, not saying this to be right or to be wrong. Just telling you what it is, the nature of the beast, and you can decide from there if you like it or not. Me personally, not for me. I'm more of a value-driven guy. 100% of my income, because I don't have a job, I don't want one anymore. I've been job-free now for almost 10 years. Almost 10 years. I'm approaching that decade mark. But all my income is 100% value-based. And there's so much value that I put out there that's completely for free that I don't get paid for. But there's also a lot of other value out there that I do get paid for. And it's totally elective by various people that get attracted to whatever. Not getting, not, you know, whatever, bugging people. Like most people think of like salespeople bugging. I'm not really a salesperson in, in that context. I practice what's called attraction marketing. It's all attraction based. Instead of bugging people, they come to me. The right people the people that are attracted to whatever, just being authentic, genuine, casting my true self, my true energy, my true vibration out into the world. It's going to pull into, as it's, as it's been doing now for quite some time, these beautiful organic connections. And this is something that I teach. I teach people how to become attractive. And there's different forms of attraction. I'm not talking about physical appeal or anything like that. I teach people how to bring out more of their authentic selves to be attractive in an authentic way that pulls people into them in a very organic, healthy way and how to build a residual income. Now the residual money is far superior, in my opinion, to job money because residual money gives you leverage and leverage gives you time and the truly rich measures their wealth by their time. That's where not all money is created equal. Job money makes you a slave. You're a slave to money with job money if that's what you depend on to pay your bills and it's also a very socialist idea because it doesn't, value doesn't enter into the equation. You're paid on that time you put in by your employer regardless. Socialist idea, not value driven, and there you have it. And what I'm teaching is completely the opposite. And what I'm teaching gives a person more freedom, more time, more leverage. What I'm teaching gives a person residual income, which is a form of leverage. What I'm teaching <laughs> unleashes the power of the human spirit and you get to be yourself. And if you get to be yourself at your job, it's only because you're at yourself at the leisure of somebody else who gave you permission to be yourself. 
that sounds really weird, but that also, I, I get to be myself at the leisure of myself. I teach people how to be themselves at the leisure, at the leisure of themselves. And it's all tied to 100% value-driven, value-based, attraction, organic stuff. It's really cool. And it takes a transition because as an employee, you're addicted to a paycheck. And it typically doesn't happen overnight that you break that addiction. It doesn't happen overnight that you can just all of a sudden be totally unreserved and unfettered about who you truly are. It, it just doesn't happen overnight. I mean, this is typically a lifetime worth of bad thinking that we have to unwind. It, it takes some time. But if you're willing to go through that process, all these freedoms I'm talking about is totally preceded by freedom of the mind. You can make that decision in a snap to just be like, I'm going to have freedom of the mind. That's it. Freedom of the mind. Then we can begin unwinding all these other things and planting some really, sowing some new seed in your brain, driving deep roots into your spirit that unleashes your spirit and your authenticity. I know that sounds kind of weird, but... Maybe you haven't heard that kind of talk before. If you're interested at all in what I'm talking about, I made another video about what it looks like. Not so much of a presentation video, though I got one of those too because people prefer a presentation. But if you want to see what it looks like, I show you a video that I made of the daily rituals, we'll call them, the daily, I call them correct activities of what it looks like, how I actually created my first six figures, and so much more since then, online. Not needing to leave my house, but I could if I wanted to. But online, in an attractive, attr totally attraction-based way. Organic. So, with zero advertising. I didn't spend any money on advertising. So it's really different, and you've probably not seen anything like it before. I get told that a lot, that it's completely different and refreshing and all these things, and not what they thought it was. If you want to see that video, let me know. I'll send it to you, and you can decide if it's something you want to run with or not. And either way is cool with me, but I suspect I'll hear from quite a few, a few of you very soon because this video, the concept, even if you don't get it, just get the concept of being value-driven, breaking an addiction to a paycheck, and open up, opening up all of these freedoms in your life, time freedom, financial freedom, and being, becoming one of the truly rich people of the world because you've got your time which really has nothing to do with money, but there's a marriage between time and money and not all money is created equal. I'm gonna teach you the kind of money where you make money your personal slave. Because money is just these little paper notes. It doesn't make any sense to me to be a slave to that. And if you, have it, if you depend on job money to pay your bills and nourish your family, then you're a slave to money. I don't say that to put you down. And you decide if that's a good or bad idea. And if you don't believe it's true, just ask yourself, can I stop working just can I fire my boss and am I still going to be able to pay my bills and support my family? If you have job money, the answer is no. So you're spinning on that perpetual hamster wheel. You can't ever stop. And there's no leverage involved in that whatsoever. You only get paid on your efforts once or your time, I should say, once. Just once, which means you have to keep selling your time for money. Time is infinite. Money, I'm sorry, time is finite. Money is infinite because they print so much money you can never save it or make it as fast as they print it. So you're trading something that's precious and finite for something that's intrinsically worthless. And there you go. It makes no sense to do that, but that's what we do. And that's why if you depend on job money for your income, you're an absolute slave to money. Even if you don't believe it, you're living it. And hopefully I've made the case that you are a slave to money if you depend on job money. This is just the way that it is. It's not right or wrong. You take that info and decide if you're comfortable with that or not. Me, I, I'm not. I love freedom. I love value. I love being paid based on value. I love leverage uh, because I love freedom and all those kinds of things. So I'm going to wrap this video up now. Thanks for watching all of it. Uh, that's pretty awesome if you listen to me ramble for nearly 10 minutes now. I'll hear from quite a few of you real soon, and I'll send you the video that I made about my training about creating freedom and breaking your addiction to a paycheck. I'll show you exactly how I did it so you see what it looks like. And that way you can envision yourself doing it or not. That's up to you. Bye for now. Talk to you soon. Visit my website, fireyourboss.xyz, not .com. That's different, fireyourboss.xyz. And if you know somebody who might like the message in this video, click the share button if you feel it's worthy and put it out there. Take care, everyone. Next video coming soon.